Oh man, it's only been a week since the surgery, but I feel great and it's great to get out here. What better way to get back on the water than to get in my boat, try for halibut. It's some early halibut. We got herring that we caught earlier with TLA. Yeah, beautiful day. Let's get out there before the wind picks up. Got everything rigged up now. We're just gonna go over it really fast and just start fishing. So this is a new rod I've got. This is, I don't even know. It doesn't even really have a brand. It's called a Striper Stealth. I got this from Jim at Real Custom Boatworks out here in the Bay Area. $100 rod, eight foot, light action. It's got all metal reel seats. It's really nice. This is gonna be what I'm gonna use for salmon later this year. Just testing it out the first time today. Uh, I got this 40 pound top shot of mono and that's going to a three-way swivel and on the three-way swivel I've got about a four and a half foot liter of 20 pound fluoro going to this herring that I caught the other day with the lost anchovy Keith and on the other side of the three-way swivel it's about a two foot liter going to this big old dropper loop here and that's going to a one pound weight we're fishing 25 feet so just in order to make sure I'm staying on bottom, going with the one pound weight, and maybe we'll even go up to 20 ounces if we need to. So I'm gonna drop this down. Let's see how the spin is. Start trolling. Daniel's drifting. Daniel's trolling already. He's also using herring and a similar setup. So, all right, let's get, let's get started. Why not? All right, a little fast. You guys see that spin? How do you like that spin? Is that too fast? All right, let's drop it down. All right, we're all set up. Now I'm just trying to make sure that I'm bouncing bottom. You guys know the drill, so it's lifting it up. And yes, it bounces, so put it in the rod holder. Well, just to document everything on this trip and keep track of everything, it is about two hours before high tide. It's 53 and a half degree water temperature right now, 53.5 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's a little bit cold for halibut, but I've never really kept track of the temperature. So today we're gonna to start keeping track. 53.5, see if we get any bites. Well, it's only been 20 minutes. But we're not really fishing for anything here. I don't really know a spot right outside Oyster Point. So we got a boat. We might as well go to where there's some structure. We see a big buoy over here. So we might as well go try it. That's what we're doing now. Cruising at 26.6. So nice when it's calm out here. I'm actually gonna shorten this leader going to my weight. I think it's a little too long. I want that bait right on the bottom. So I'm gonna take this weight off and you know, put it a little bit lower. I've heard it said many times, you don't wanna handle the bait too much or get any scent that you have on the bait. So I'm gonna try not to handle this bait too much. This is a big herring. One time through the nose. Now I don't have any flasher. Maybe that's a issue, but just going with what we got today. All right, right there by the tail, sliding snail knot, give it a little bend. Let's see how, let's see what happens, see how this rolls. All right, we're trolling, but we're kind of trolling fast. 3.9, I don't know, I don't know. Daniel doesn't like it that fast and it might be too fast. So a little trick, I'm gonna try this for the first time. I'm gonna take this five gallon bucket and then tie it to uh, my line here. And we're gonna see if we use this as a drift sock. Will it slow us down? So let's find out. Just tying a bowline knot. All right, bowline knot, we're good to go. Throw her in. So for the last maybe four months, 
I've uh, been working with this guy, Justin, and he's been helping me edit my videos. And I think he's doing a spectacular job. He has a lot of free time. He loves editing for some reason. I don't know why, but he loves it. Uh, he is really good at Photoshop too and art and all that type of design stuff. So if anybody out there wants to hire someone to do some work, like a little side job thing, hit up Justin. His link is in the description. Really appreciate you, man. Oh! Hold on, baby. Daniel on one! Yeah, let's go! Don't get in the drift sock. Don't get in the drift sock. When we just... Oh! I saw that come off too! Oh no! Dang. Don't get in the drift sock! Oh, oh my, my god. god! Dang! We're drifting really slow right now Real too. Really slow. 1.4 miles per hour. 54 degree water temperature. It is 12 o'clock, so oh slack tide, God. pretty much high tide right now. We're just eating too. Yeah, we just got our sandwich out. Oh, I, just, I dropped my sandwich on the ground. I had to come <laughs> get this guy. Dang, that was our first action. We've been out here since 9.30, so about three hours, almost going on four hours now, man. I tried to get pepper jack, but they didn't have any pepper jack. Hmm? Tried to get pepper jack cheese, but they didn't have any pepper jack. Oh, oh, oh. Told you. Nice, nice, huh? nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Dale, I want to get him. <clears throat> Carlos Fung, he built this gaff for me. So we're going to gaff it with his gaff. You want to gaff? Ooh. Oh, no, oh, that's, that's close. No, that's shaker. Shaky. Shaky. Um, bring him up. I think he's pretty smooth. I don't know, man. I'm ready to. Looks a little small. Yeah. I don't know, man. It might be close. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't, this measuring tape is not the best, but it's 23. 23 inches. Keep him. Keep them. Well, that, that measuring tape, it might have shrunk though. Really? Uh, I, got, I got one. Okay. So small looking, but it's probably a keeper. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah. 20, what? 23. Put it on his lip. And put it on top. Oh, yeah. Put it on top. Uh, All right. We're on zero. And that's going up to so 22 and a half. 22 and a half. You want to keep it? Uh, up to you. Do you want to cook it? Sure. If you're down? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. Out. He's out. So a lot of you guys who watch my videos, you already know about this live bait tank. Bowie Fishing 24-7, he made it for me. And I love it. It's so convenient to hold bait and also to bleed fish, hold crab. So we got the halibut in here. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, good one. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, let's go. <laughs> this, this is a keeper, bro. Yeah, this I is think a keeper. That's a keeper. All right, here he is. Here he comes. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> Dang. Oh, yeah. Damn. All right. This is a leopard shark. Oops. Oh, that was a much needed little excitement break. It's like what they say about playing Texas Hold'em. It's like hours of just boredom and just nothing. You can't do anything. And then it's moments of terror. But this wasn't really terror. This was just excitement. So just past high tide, water temp is 54.8. We're in 24 feet of water. And then we're in this area where it goes down to 30 and it goes up to 16 in the span of about a quarter mile. So we're fishing right on that ledge. And I think this drift sock is helping us a lot. It's slowing us down about half a mile per hour, 0.5 miles per hour, and we're able to bounce bottom also. And we've got three bites in the last half hour also. Oh, fish on. Oh, good one. Oh, oh, oh. Feels good, dude. 
Oh, on the half. Oh, the shark, bro, no! Well, you know, we could keep these if we wanted to. This is a leopard shark, pretty damn cool fish. This is uh, 35 inches. They need to be 36 inches to keep, but I wouldn't keep them anyway. Thought for sure it was a halibut. Dang. Now let's go back in. Before we go in, right there, the Fisherman's Life, halibut being gaffed shirt. Perfect day to wear it today. And also the straw hat on sale, fishermanslife.net. Just so you know, we got one keeper. We're gonna go in and cook that thing in a little bit. I wanna make something simple, uh, something really easy. Halibut shish kebabs. Shish kebabs or kebabs? Halibut kebabs. All right, so we're gonna do halibut kebabs. Just gonna fillet this thing on here, on the cooler here. Daniel's gotta go. So he's the, you know, this is his fish after all. So we're only gonna take a quarter. Let's see what we can do with this thing. We're not gonna scale it, we're gonna skin it. All right, so we're just gonna do a quarter of the fillets and that's what we're gonna keep. One, two, on the other side, three, four. Here, we're just gonna go straight down the middle, centered a little bit to the top. And we're gonna cut right up here, just like we would in, in any other fish. So I'll just use my hard knife, and that was just to get that first cut started. Now I've got my bending Bubba blade, and I should be able to do this on just one or two passes. A little pressure, follow the ribs. Now when I get to this fin over here, I want to get as close to the fin as possible without cutting up in front, because I guess that's the ingawa, another muscle for the fin. Learned that from Outdoor Chef Life, who was also out there today and caught a couple keepers. All right, nice clean filet. A couple bones here, we can cut those out. There's that little Ngawa piece. I don't know what to do with it. Maybe we'll just roll it up and put it on the skewer also. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Simple way to fillet a halibut. You can do that on all four small fillets. Now we're gonna bring this home and we're gonna do the kebabs tomorrow. Daniel's gonna go home, so. All right, it's so much easier the next day when I am able to go home and prep everything. So I cut all the halibut into small little chunk sized pieces, just like this. And I got some onions and I got some peppers. Could do pineapple and I had pineapple, but I let it sit overnight and it's not that good anymore. So this is how we're gonna do it. And this is a really, really cool grill that's super compact. And the sad thing about it is I have no idea what brand it is. This company sent it to me a couple years ago. And it's kind of just been sitting, but how it works, it just folds out. These are the legs that keep it above the ground so you don't burn anything. And then these side things fold out like that and it's got a tray for charcoal and it's also got another tray on top to grill so what i'm going to do and it's stainless steel too it's like been about four years since i got it and it's still perfect condition no rust whatsoever i really wish i knew what brand it was but anyway i'm just going to put a little bit of the charcoal in here and i'm just going to heat that up and then put the fish on the kebab and that's about it man we got the teriyaki sauce too this should be a nice simple very simple meal. Just a single layer of coals right there on the bottom. I'll try not to burn my hair off. While that heats up, I'm just gonna put the all the ingredients onto this these skewers. I'm just gonna do it lengthwise. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that first. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the teriyaki sauce and pour it over everything. And then we'll put it on the skewers. But you know, while I'm getting everything ready, there's an idea that I had that I really want to do with all of you, at least who can join. I want to start running. And you know, it's been great to get back out on the water right after my surgery. It's only been a week. I really can't walk too much, but I anticipate it's going to take about two months until I can start running again. And I really want to get like a running group going. Maybe start at Lincoln by Ocean Beach and we'll run to Sloat and maybe on Saturdays we'll do an easy run maybe just a mile so everyone who wants to come out get in shape or stay in shape come on out um, and then another day of the week we'll do like a five mile and ultimate goal is to train for a marathon of course you don't have to it's just come out run hang out and have fun but I think that would be 
really cool. We get to meet each other in person, get to know each other a little bit, just have fun. So I'm going to make it this group where if you're interested, you can you can join, you can RSVP. I got the idea from More Than Fishing from June. He's having a breakfast fishing meetup coming up soon. Uh, if you're interested in that, I'll put the link in the description also. But I'm going to use a similar website. So if you want to RSVP for that, that would be fun. You know, just come out. Of course, it's free. Uh, just come out and run and... Yeah, man, just like, I don't know, come out here and just yeah, get in shape, y'all. Stay in shape. Here we've got some peppers, and we've got some onion, and we've got the halibut. Just marinated really fast in some teriyaki sauce. How's that look right there? Pretty good, huh? All right, we'll do another one now. It's perfect. Dang, don't those look so good? So simple, too. Now, I'm curious about this grill. How do you think it works? See, right above that stainless steel, I have another grill, another wire grill that I can put on top, and I think that that might be the spot where the coals are supposed to go, but I don't know. What do you think? All right, that is going to be much better. Coals on top. Grill back on. Much better, much better. So we plop those right on there. And that won't take too long to cook. Man, I don't know why I've never made fish kebabs before. Don't those look good? They're done too, a little bit sweet. Dang, that is so good. That's the best halibut I've ever had. Most of the time when I cook halibut, it's super dry. I think maybe I usually have the heat too high. But here with this small bed of coals, it's like a slow cooked halibut. Dang, that is good. But yeah, what do you think about that running idea? Let's go running at Ocean Beach every once in a while, okay? Let's get in shape, stay in shape. And just get out there so go to fishermanslife.net on the front page there's going to be something where you could sign up of course it's free like i said but yeah let's just get out there it's gonna be fun two more months until i get healed so you know maybe a month when this after this video comes out all right y'all damn this was really good this was really good <laughs>